my go-to PC VR headset over the last couple of years has always been the HP Reverb G2. This is because every time I put the headset on, it offered really high resolution with a minimal screen door effect. I really felt the contrast amplify the immersion when I was inside of VR. Over the last couple of years, it's bring me nothing but joy. I've met tons of people, experienced so many different games, including Half-Life Alyx, After the Fall, Synth Riders, and many more. But one of the things that I really enjoy doing the most inside of virtual reality is watching movies inside of a virtual cinema and the best app to do so of course is big screen who yesterday unveiled a brand new vr headset which is going to be coming to the market in q322 so let's talk about this right now because it's really really exciting but first i just want to thank you for coming to the channel and watching today's video do make sure to hit the notification bell after you subscribe as i upload awesome content quite consistently to the channel. So let's talk about this new beast that is coming to VR very soon, the Joker in the Mist, which is the new VR headset by Big Screen called Beyond. As many have pointed out inside of the industry at this moment in time, is that all the PC VR headsets and also wireless VR headsets that are around at the moment is the fact that they're all quite bulky and quite heavy and you certainly do feel it after some time inside of virtual reality. Not to mention that most of them are also very front heavy, which means that you could actually damage your neck muscles and even your back if you're not careful. Beyond the VR headset by Big Screen answers all of these things as it only weighs 127 grams without the facial interface and with it weighs less than 200 grams. And it's so tiny, it looks like it's a third of my HP Reverb G2, to be honest with you, which is pretty incredible. What Big Screen did is that they basically did a lot of focus groups and market research and removed a lot of the bells and whistles, which a lot of us don't need. This includes speakers, which will come as an additional hardware in the future. So basically, if you want to use the audio, what you'll have to do is plug in a pair of headphones with a USB-C adapter or USB-C earbuds or what have you not, or you could use Bluetooth to your computer. Not having headphones phones attached to the actual strap will enable them to make additional revenue of course as they will be selling these as additional hardware and of course removing all the components inside of the headset making it lighter. Interestingly enough what they're also going to be doing is removing a mechanical IPD adjuster although this could be done internally via software as the Pico 4 does inside as well but what they've decided to do ingeniously is make sure that the VR headset is customized to every single customer's face. Now this headset is fully customizable to each and every single individual customer. This means that not only will they customize the lens prescription inserts, which are attached magnetically very easily on the actual lenses so that anyone who have glasses will be able to see inside of the VR headset without any issues whatsoever, but also the facial interface will be customized to every single person's face as well for optimum comfort. What you'll apparently need to do is download the big screen app on your phone and then use it in some kind of LiDAR-like technology, scan your actual face, send it back to big screen and then within days they will then print out some kind of special foam silicon-like technology that will then be put on the VR headset so that it's exactly met for the shape of your face. Now they didn't reveal the actual ingredients as to what they're using on the phone. So hopefully it will not be, you know, something that a lot of people will be allergic to, but it's, it is supposed to be very easy to clean as you could just use some soap, you know, comparing it to, for example, my HP Reverb G2, which is made of some kind of cotton or something. And I do have to, you know, put it in the washing machine in order to make sure that it's clean. So it does take longer to dry and is a little bit more of a hassle. Now, apparently the lenses, they're actually using pancake technology which is basically what you'll find inside of the Quest 2 and also the Pico 4 and the Field of View although officially it hasn't been announced it is apparently at least 90 degrees Field of View which again is very similar to the Quest 2. Now do be aware that when the headset will be available at this moment in time especially that the only phone that is compatible with the big screen app where you can actually scan your face will be a phone XR technology which is basically the iPhone 10 and above. Now the specs do look fantastic. The fact that the lenses are 5K or 2.5K by 2.5K, which is absolutely 
incredible, offering amazing clarity according to all the YouTubers in the VR space who have had the opportunity to actually try the VR headset itself. It has OLED technology offering very, very cool contrast. So the blacks will be very black and the brightness will be, you know, more contrasty, offering a much more kind of realistic kind of VR experiences, especially in horror kind of genres like Half-Life Alex and Big Screen are really pushing the envelope. So do hit the likes for this as they are offering the world's smallest and lightest PC VR headset, which is an amazing fleet of its own.